program was established in 1997 to monitor natural and human related mortality on beach craft marine birds, mammals, and turtles in the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. The goal is to determine the baseline deposition of birds and mammals, and this is done almost entirely by trained volunteers. We're going to go walk on Marina State Beach, which is our monthly beach walk, and we're going to go see um, how many dead birds and dead marine mammals out there today that we can find. A given beach segment is on average up to three miles long, and these beaches in the sanctuary are surveyed from Cambria all the way up to Santa Cruz. Beachcomber volunteers walk their assigned beach once a month in pairs. The volunteers collect a variety of data on the specimens they find. We record the species, the condition it is in, how old it is, and clues to the cause of death. Western grebe, as you can tell from the um, from the markings of the feather, even though they're all dried out, um, how it goes underneath his eye a little bit, so that's a uh, sign it's a western grebe, and then also the color of the bill is greenish yellow. The bird or mammal is marked each time it's recorded by a volunteer. For birds, one toe is clipped and the number of previous toes clipped is recorded. For marine mammals, such as the California sea lion, we tie one green string onto one of their flippers. If you come across a mammal with multiple strings on one flipper or fluke, then you can count how many times the animal has been observed on that beach. Marking the animals allows us to determine how long a beach cast bird or mammal remains on a particular beach. The data from these monthly surveys is very important for identifying trends in animal health or human impacts to the environment. We cannot determine any sort of trend or event without first knowing what is normal for any stretch of beach. In the event of an oil spill, such as the Costco Beach Sand Spill, we have a reference for the number of dead birds and mammals we should expect on the sanctuary's beaches, and therefore determine the impact the spill had on the beach cast organisms interesting program because we have such a big data set um, that we can see trends in like peaks at certain times of the year or if there's different events going on with different species of birds washing in. Once I get out here it's pretty nice. Not many people can say they can do this once a month. <laughs> well, becoming a beachcomber volunteer is an excellent way to participate in citizen science that supports important management decisions in the sanctuary and also protects the species that you're surveying.